वेलकम टू सन माइकल्स एकेडमी बेतियाज ई लर्निंग क्लास ऑफ इंग्लिश ग्रामर क्लास फोर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न चैप्टर फोर टेंसेस नाउ फर्स्ट वी विल सी द सेंटेंसेस द बियर वॉक्स टू द हनी ट्री द बियर वॉक्ड टू द हनी ट्री द बियर विल वॉक टू द हनी ट्री so in the sentences here walks walked will walk are the verbs we know that verb is the action word did you know that a verb tell us when the action takes place if it was in the present past or future that's where tense come in so as you know the tense of a verb tells us when an ac- action takes place now for example the bee walks to the honey tree so the verb walks is in the present tense it tell us that the thing is happening now hindi mein ise hum वर्तमान काल बोलते हैं सेकेंड वन द बी वॉक टू द हनी ट्री सो हियर वॉक इज इन द पास टेंस इट टेल अस दैट द एक्शन टुक्स प्लेस इन द पास्ट सो इसे हम हिंदी में भूतकाल बोलते हैं यानी बीता हुआ थर्ड वन द बियर विल वॉक टू द हनी ट्री सो हियर द वर्ब विल वॉक इज इन द फ्यूचर टेंस सो इट टेल एस डैट द एक्शन विल टेक्स प्लेस इन द फ्यूचर इसे हम हिंदी में भविष्य काल कहते हैं जो होने वाला है The word tense is derived from Latin word tempus which means time. A verb indicates the time of an action, event or condition by changing its form. So tense tell us when the action is going to happen. so as you already know that the tenses is the form of the verb used to express the time of an action mainly there are three tenses present tense past tense and future tense so we will see each one of the tenses one by one so first we will see present tense yani vartaman kal the present tense of a verb names an action that happens regularly it can also express a general truth so it tell us that the action is happening right now when we use present tense we can use the present tense when we talk about facts For example I live in Poland Second habits and routine It tell us about the action that happens regularly sometimes or never For example this swim every day When we talk about the feeling and emotions for example they like pizza and the fourth one when we talk about a general truth or we can say universal truth that for example sunday comes after saturday the present tense of the verb is the base form of the verb 
लाइक वेन द सब्जेक्ट इज अ सिंगुलर नाउन ही शी और इट यू यूजली एड एस टू द वर्ब तो एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर यू कैन सी ही शी इट वी हैव पुट एस विद द वर्ब देयर visits but in singular i u in plural v u they we haven't put any s or es in it so if we write or talk about he she it or any singular thing or person we put verb plus s in it the verb be the present tense of the verb be differs from the base form means the verbs am is are are the simple present forms of the verb be like i am you are see is now we will see present continuous the present continuous tense is used to describe activities that happen now that means activities that are developed in the moment of speaking so here we can see that with i we use am plus verb ing he she it they are singular form so we use is with it plus verb ing we you they are plural form so we have used are there plus verb ing so in the present continuous tense we use am or is or are plus verb ing am with i is with singular and r with plural now when do we use present continuous tense when action that are happening now for example she is cooking in the kitchen second one actions that are temporary they are staying in london for few days third one definite future plans for example i am going hiking tomorrow now we will see how we will write the statement or positive sentence negative sentence and yes or no questions in present continuous for example i am dancing this is positive sentence now we will write negative sentence i am not dancing yes or no question am i dancing next one you are eating this is positive now negative you are not eating now the third one yes or no are you eating so these are the way so when we can write the positive negative and yes or no question in present continuous tense past tense means bhutkal jo beet chuka ho the past tense of verb names an action that already happened मतलब जो हो चुका है फॉर्म्स पास टेंस ऑफ मोस्ट वर्ब्स बाय एडिंग ई डी टू द बेस फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब सो व्हेन वी आर राइटिंग इन द पास टेंस वी पुट ई डी विद द वर्ब इन अ रेगुलर फॉर्म फॉर एग्जांपल वर्ल्ड वाइड सेकेंड एंडेड इन 1945 so we write here in a regular form and we put ed in the verb 
ended so it is a verb and we have put ed so that we can change it into past tense because here we are talking about the past jk rowling wrote harry potter so here the wrote is in the irregular form that means that the word has been changed totally with right wrote now can you you can see that in different sentences how we can write the past tense so in affirmative sentence means statement we write i played we put ed with the verb now in the negative sentence you know in the negative sentence it's no or not so i did not play integrative sentences means question question mark sentences did i play negative integrative sentences did i not played so these are the sentence and we have given the examples here so that you can understand that in the different form of sentences we write the tenses in a different way now we will see the past continuous tense subject plus was verb plus v i verb first plus ing plus object so we can see in the past continuous tense it is used for an action which was happening at a particular time in the past that we use in the past continuous tense to talk about the things happening in the past things went on happening for some time and in the past continuous tense there is a subject and after that we use was and were was is used with the singular and verb is used with the plural so with the was and verb we put verb plus ing in it and plus object this is a form of past continuous tense now we can see the different types of sentences for past continuous tense affirmative sentences boys were playing why we put here were because it is written a uh, noun is in plural form negative sentences boys were not playing interrogative sentences were boys playing negative integrative sentences were boys not playing future tense bhavishya kal the future tense of a verb names an action that will takes place in the future what is going to be happen in the future we considered it in the future tense this tense is formed by using will or shall with the simple form of the verb so when we are talking about the future tense we always put will and shall with the verb shall is always used with i and v and will is used with everything for example the speaker of the parliament will finish her team term in may of 2013 so this sentence it is written in future tense how can we know it is written in future tense because will is written there and this sentence is talking about the future now the future tense can be expressed by using am is or are with going to for example the surgeon is going to perform the first bypass in canada so you can see with is we used going to the following diagram shows the example of future tense and the difference between using will and going to the first we will see going to it has to express a plan for the future means it is already planned for example i am going to visit my grandpa tomorrow now will will is used when the situation is unplanned or in formal writing that means we are not planned for that situation but it suddenly happened it means expresses a certain certain decision for example i will have fish instead of chicken 
second expresses a desire to or some agreement to do something for example i will keep my promise so both can be used to make future prediction she will be famous some day or she is going to be famous some day but the difference between the going to and will is that in going to everything is planned but in will it is unplanned situation you can see the table of present past and future so as we have learnt the simple and the continuous of present and past and future now we'll discuss a little bit so in the simple present we use verb or verb plus s or we can use am is are in the past in the simple past we use second form of verb it can be regular means we put ed in it or it can be in regular form simple future we use will plus verb now come to continuous in present continuous we use am is are plus verb ing past continuous was plus verb plus ing so there are you can see there are different types of tenses here so we will learn all these tenses in your higher classes now we will do the book work of this chapter section a use the correct verbs in the simple present or present continuous given below to complete the following sentences now what we have to do we have to choose the correct word from the from this box like first one you are dash me you are disturbing me likewise all have been done for you use the correct tenses of the verbs given in the bracket to fill in the blanks use am is or are with the present continuous tense so we have to write the correct verb all the verb have been given in the bracket already we have to choose it and we have to write the correct form of verb in the blanks like first one the children dash swimming during summer the children are learning swimming during summer use the simple past tense forms of verb given in the bracket correctly and fill in the blanks now already you can see the verb has been given in the bracket what we have to do we have to change into simple past tense for example first one the police dash the thief catch is the verb given in the bracket now we have to change it into simple past tense which will be caught likewise all have been done for you now d use was and were with the correct verbs in the simple past tense and simple past continuous tense to complete the sentences now what we have to do we have to change it with the correct form of verb we can use the simple past tense or simple present tense according to the sentence for example question number 1 india dash the match and people dash in the street so the first one will be win it will change into simple past tense one and the dance it will change into were dancing i hope you understood the explanation and the book work of this chapter thank you